from Dodger Stadium. Top first, Barry Bonds up. Good wood, but he misses the fairway. Foul. Bonds would later walk his first walk of the season at Dodger Stadium. Bottom first, Paul LaDuca on Lee Von Hernandez, who has decisions in 16 of his 17 starts. That's gone. His 12th Dodgers lead at one zip. Bottom four, three one Giants. Eric Caros smacks one off. Hernandez, Armando Rios, coming, coming, coming. Go get it. He's got it. Very, very nice catch. Giants protect the 3 1 lead. Top seven, 3 1 Bonds again, and just a groove up. Gary Sheffield is there. No homers in 25 straight at bats for Bonds. Bottom eight, still 3-1. LaDuca again off Hernandez. This guy now has 13 homers and 13 strikeouts on the season. Two-run job, ties it at three. Take him to Seattle. The man is an all-star. LaDuca, a little curtain call. He's pumped. This is even better than on Felix Rodriguez. Marquise Grissom, the hit. Bonds cannot catch up with it. Into the people. Ground rule double. Sean Green scores. It's 4-3. Base is loaded. They intentionally walk Bonds to load him up, and Jeff Shaw gets the MVP, Jeff Kent, to pop out to Eric Carroll. They almost screwed that up, but they hang on and win it by a count of 4-3. Bonds 0 for 3. Two walks. Home rule is the 13th win of the season. This isn't how you get it done. Benny Castilla. It's already 2-0 in the first. Gets that one inside the bag. Rattle around the left field corner. Moises now loose scores. Richard Hidalgo will score. Castilla now been 283. And they get four off Schilling in the first five total in the first two innings. Top third with the bases chucked. Low. See it. Go. Off Scott Ellerton, the grand salami. Third of Gonzalez's career. Second of the season. Cuts it to 5-4. Gonzalez, get out again. We have ourselves a 5-5 ball game. His 34th homer of the season. 15th multi-homer game. And his first homers in eight games. So he'd been struggling a bit, at least as far as the long ball. Although, not like Julio Lugo. First homer in 143 at bats for Lugo. His ninth of the season makes it 6-5. And in the ninth, oh, no. no hero shot for Gonzalez off Billy Wagner. So Lugo, two homers. His other three at bats, strikes out. Finishes 6-5. Lugo, four for five. It was his first home run since May 3rd. Brellerton still hasn't won since May 6th. That's 11 starts. Gonzo drives in all of Arizona's runs with his seventh multi-homer game of the year. Six of those on the road. Astros win streak reaches four while the D-backs. Padres trying desperately to hang close in the NL West and tied at three in the fifth. Sean Chacon, Mike Dar, and Dar she goes. That's a fair ball. Ricky Henderson scored, scored twice in this game, now within 30 of Ty Cobb. Angelo Jimenez as well. Padres lead 5-3. Bottom seven, Tony Gwynn just activated, and perhaps you can tell he's out since May 9th because can't catch up with the high fastball. Top nine, Trevor Hoffman. Strike three on Jacob Cruz. The postgame buffet is open. Let us eat. Padres and a five-game losing streak. For a Sports Center showcase. The Jake is where Manny hit 357 there last year. Saying hi to Charlie Manuel. Then Ramirez also getting together with a couple of former mates in Omar and Kenny Lofton. Ramirez spent eight seasons in Cleveland. There he is on deck waiting for his first as bat. Oh, there's some of the reaction by Cleveland fans. Not to see uh, must be the Manny sign. Here's his first at bat against Jake Westbrook. Ramirez goes right to work, finds a hole. That's a single. He'd be stranded, though, at first with Manny. Indians up 1-0 in the third. Ellis Burks, whose first career homer came off of Hall of Famer Don Sutton back in 1987. That's how long Burks has been in the league. This is a solo shot, 21 on the year for Ellis, 2-0. Now, Ramirez coming up for a second at bat. Fans, oh, that's clever. That's original. Hey, you'd take the 160 mil if it was offered to you. Manny, who hit 313 and drove in over 800 runs for Cleveland. He was two for two there so far. And then Westbrook, filling in nicely for the disabled Chuck Finley. Allowed five hits, struck out four. Kenny Lofton, that's a rip. Russell Brannion, Albert Cabrera score on the double. Lofton two for five, coming back slowly from being injured. Indians up 4 nothing, but that was a big knock. Still bottom four, your AL leading hitter in Roberto Alomar. Roberto Alomar, three for three at that point. He's hitting 543 in his last 12 games. Red Sox down by four. Westbrook getting Ramirez. Westbrook said he was just trying to relax, not thinking about Manny's return. Alomar. Roberto Alomar, the chopper. That's his fifth hit. Five for five, four singles and a double. He had 29 four-hit games coming into this one. And Danny Baez strikes out Manny Ramirez. And, of course, the fans enjoy that. They, but more important, the fans enjoy the final score.
as they give Manny a standing ovation. Nine to one was the final. Twins, White Sox, top seven, tied at three. Matt Lawton, he's swinging a hot hold. He's out weeding the garden. He was three for four with three ribs. His second homer of the game. Twins go up 5-3. Bottom seven, Carlos Lee. Pops out, Torrey Hunter coming. Torrey Hunter, he's got it. Royce Clayton tagging, but Hunter got a strong hose. He's out at the plate. Let's go to bottom night. Sandy Alomar. TK likes that. Ripping one down the line. Corey Koski, though, getting dirty and making a play. Let's look at it again. Same thing, only slower, perhaps a different angle. Yes, it is. Koski, nice dive, strong throw, and the Twins win 5 3. Victory number 51. Half 100 plus one as they rally for their fifth straight win. Lock up the Sox. They'd full service Major League ball player. And then, besides taking pictures, get a snapshot of this. The home run off Jose Mercedes at the first pitch he saw his seventh of the season, one zip Yanks. Nice Kodak moment. Bottom of the first, David Segui off Kiesler, who went four innings, four hits, five earned runs, 3 1 Baltimore, and David Segui's eighth call the bullpen. Yanks offense also excelling. Bernie Williams with the runner on second. He had a knock in four trips. Off the wall, well done. Chuck Knobloch scored three times in this one, had three hits, and the Yanks pull within 5 3 the next batter. Tino. Martinez, who has been very well lately. Tino, 15th homer of the year, had 16 all of last season, ties it at five, and you know, the Yanks have won the last seven games when Tino's homered, so why not make it eight? Scott Brocious leading off the sixth, also off Mercedes, his 11th, he was three for five, the Yanks up 6-5, win 10-6. Into first by half a game in the East are the New York Yankees, 5-0 at Camden Yards this season. Tino hitting 379 with six homers, 15 RBI over the last eight games. Ramiro Mendoza, one hit allowed in four innings, faced minimum 12 batters. Speaking of Atlanta, bottom seven, we're tied at five. Jose Santiago facing Keith Lockhart. There's a single. Your next batter is Andrew Jones. And Jones would follow Keith and single. Next batter is Chipper. And a Chipper would also do the right thing for Atlanta and go the opposite way. We have the bases loaded, still one out. Next batter, Brian Jordan. Jordan. Says this hit wasn't pretty, but whatever works. Two for four, two RBI. Santiago can't get Lockhart at the plate. And then Sirhoff. Three for five on the night, three RBI. He's hitting 263. He's got 32 ribbies. It's 8 5 Braves as Andrew and Chipper both score. And then Javi Lopez. One of 15 hits by the Braves in this game. It's 9 5 Atlanta. So Larry Boa would remove Santiago, obviously, and Wendy Wolf now pitching, facing Rico Pronia. That's a walk, loading the bases. Next batter is pinch hitter Wes Helms. Helms in a pinch down the line for a double. Two-run score. It's 11-5 Atlanta, and there's still only one out. Next batter, Rafael Fercal with two on. Fercal, he's hitting 278 right now. Two runs would come in. The ninth straight brave to reach base, so it didn't matter who was on the mound. 13-5. Next batter is Lockhart. Larry Bow will watch Wolf walk Lockhart. Andrew Jones, he's up again. Right to the new pitcher, Amari Telemaco, who starts the 1-4-3 double play. And finally, the inning is over. The Braves scoring eight in the seventh, their biggest inning since April of 1999. Still 13-5 when Chipper Jones, his second of two home runs on the night. He's hitting 515 in his last in 10 games against the Phils this year. That was his 23rd homer of the year. Chipper goes four for four. He, he hit two solo homers, scored an Atlanta Braves record, tying five runs. Jones has two of the four five-run games in Atlanta's history. The Braves stop Phillies' five-game win streak, and they move within one game of the Phillies in the NL East. Marlins Expos, Montreal, one of his last three ball games. Ryan Dempster against Lee Stevens, a comebacker. Right to the pitcher, 1-6-3, the double play, nicely done, 0 for 3 for Lee Stevens. Top four, Mike Lowell facing Tony Armas Jr., that's through for a base hit. Cliff Floyd, round and third, headed for home, brown eyed handsome man, and he's around the tag. Look, Bobby V, Cliff, two runs scored, two hits, four ABs, Marlins up two zip. Eric Owens, shot to left field, Rob Ducey, no. Louis Castile comes home to score. Owens, 18 RBI. Marlins up four zip in the sixth. Dempster, he's Canadian, in control from British Columbia. Good news if you're a hockey player or a pitcher. It's Peter Bergeron looking. Dempster, 
Nicely done. Florida shut out, shuts out the Expos for the third time this year, 3-0. Dempster picks up his second career shutout, eh? 5 and a lifetime against the Expos. All of the wins. On The Mets have the bases loaded in the top of the first. The story of their life, the story of their season, wasted opportunities. Yeah, Kerry Wood takes out Ventura. Mets 0 for 8 with runners in scoring position. Then Wood striking out Jay Payton. 5Ks for Kerry Wood. Sammy Sosa. His 27th of the year puts the Cubs on the board one to nothing. That against Rick Reed. Bottom four, two out. Peyton against Wood. Jay flying to center. Gary Matthews Jr. styling with a great grab. Bottom six, two out. Peyton. This is the Peyton highlight facing Kerry Wood. Peyton again robbed of a base hit this time by Todd Dunwoody. Ooh. Yeah. Top of the ninth, still one nothing. Pinch hitter Ron Coomer against Dennis Cooks. Basically, that was your ball game. A two-run home run. The Cubs shut out the Mets by the score of three to nothing. Wood and the Cubs with their first win in New York against the Mets. Texas. Two on, two out. No score. Top of the first. Mike Cameron in the batter's box. And what he's got is not available in stores. A three-run home run. His 15th home run of the year. He has 57 RBIs, does Mike Cameron. It's 3-0 Mariners. Rangers down four, Pudge Rodriguez. He's built for this. He's two for four. He's hitting 295. Pudge is 17th home run of the year. Now it's 5-2. Next batter, Alex Rodriguez. A-Rod, his only hit of the game. He was one for two with two walks. He's hitting 317. Number 24 on the year for A-Rod. Bottom five, same score, two on, two out. Pudge again. The liner up the middle. Brett Boom. Not only at the plate, but he's a defensive star. Top of the 6-5-3 Mariners, Ichiro. Three more hits for Ichiro in this game. He's hitting 352. It's 6-3 Mariners as David Bell comes around to score. Still 6-3 in the top of the seventh when that man Boone, Brett Boone. Hey, All-Star. Two for four, home run number 22. 82 RBIs for Brett Boone. He deserves the love. Aaron Seeley wins for the first time in six starts. He gave up three runs on six hits, struck out four, walked three in six and two-thirds. The Mariners, a season-high ten extra base hits. Thousand there, third largest crowd ever at the Coliseum. Miguel Tejada providing his own fireworks. This guy's hitting 385 with four homers, 14 RBIs over his last nine games. A's up 5-2 on the fifth. Barry Zito. Dave Eckstein. Johnny Damon. Robin Eckstein. Damon. Helping Oakland and the Angels their sixth straight loss. The A's win for the fifth time in seven games. The Angels did end their 27-inning scoreless streak when Garrett Anderson went deep with a Here's eight game losing streak continued. Chad Durbin seeing double. Game tied to two. Shane Halter doubles. Tony Clark scores, making it back to back to back doubles for Detroit. It was 3-2. Game tied to three. Clark doubling to left center. Scoring Robert Fick, Clark's second double of the game. Durbin gave up five two baggers. 4 3. Royals trailing 8 3. Luis Cordaz pops one up foul. They're going to have a team meeting. Randall Simon, Damon Easley, Juan Encarnacion. Everybody's fine and an out. Good for them. Tigers win by a count of 8 4. And it's the double raise over the Jays. Joe Kennedy, Cardinals, Jamie Wright, Placido, Enrique Polanco getting his house right now. Jose Hernandez, Mark Loretta on to first, 6-4-3. We still love love. Bottom seven, scoreless. Richie Sexton takes Dustin Hermanson deep. Thinks he's got himself a home run, so Jim Edmonds works out there. Another one of his Willie Mays imitation. Kiss the wall, but would be fine. Bottom eight, still goose eggs. Loretta off Steve Klein, deep to center. This one, Edmonds cannot get to. Devon White, who stole second, going to motor home on the double to make it one zip. Loretta's 10th RBI at two doubles in this game. Top nine, two zip Brewers. Runner on first for Big Mac. Uh, Curtis Lasconic. He walked two guys and got Mac to fly out. Mac hitless in his last seven games. Two outs, Edgar Renteria waving against David Weathers. He gets his fourth save, and the Brewers win it 2-0. Right, three hits and no runs over eight innings, and three Milwaukee relievers. One out each in the ninth. Only David Weathers gets the save, though, as right. Road mark with a win in Cincinnati. Red Zone, the league's worst home record. Vandewall over the wall. One nothing Pirates. Vandewall's ninth. Brian Giles, meanwhile, with a score the same. Where the party at? 19th home run for Giles. It's 2 0 Pittsburgh. Same score in the fourth. Dimitri Young's turn. Todd Ritchie gets Young to ground it to the six, four, three, double play. End of inning. 
bottom nine, Reds down one with a runner on. Mike Williams gets Jason LaRue to fly out to Bob McGoliak, and that would be it for the Pirates. They win 3-2. On June 6th, Todd Ritchie was 0-8. He's now 5-8, the first Pirates pitcher since Denny Nagel back in 95 to win five straight. During the five-game streak, Ritchie has given up just six earned runs. Now, King Griffey Jr., he seemed to tweak his left hammy, fielding a ball in the sixth. He did stay in the game.